What do a 5G network in Ethiopia, a vaccine manufacturing plant in India, and a clean energy project in South Africa have in common? They are the battlegrounds in the U.S. government's effort to counter Chinese influence around the world. They call it Build Back Better World. The Build Back Better World project should be high quality and high standards. This is not going to be easy for the U.S. government. China has been in this game for eight years now, and they've committed more than $400 billion for projects. The biggest U.S. development uh, agency has only $60 billion available. So they're cobbling together more money with other countries. So these are still really early days, but this competition is starting to heat up. To understand where this all got started, you have to go back to Beijing in 2013. That's when the Chinese government pitched this project to go to developing countries and build them infrastructure. They called this effort uh, the Belt and Road Initiative, and the deal was this. They would go to a developing country and offer them a loan for an infrastructure project, and then they would send a Chinese company there to build the railway port or whatever. So the Chinese government called this a win-win deal. Countries like the US and its allies said this wasn't a good deal. The interest rates were really high. So what happened since the Biden administration took over was they've developed an alternative to the Belt and Road Project. They say the deals would be much more transparent and have better quality, better standards, and would not indebt these developing countries. What the U.S. and its allies are trying to do is not only challenge Chinese influence abroad, but they're also trying to pair it with some of their other priorities, including climate change. A Build Back Better World is going to show that we can grow our economies, fight climate change, and leave a better, cleaner, more livable planet for all of our children. At the U.N. Climate Change Conference in Glasgow, the U.S. and its allies announced a new clean energy project in South Africa. I hope it will be a blueprint for similar partnerships with other countries. They also set a signal to the world saying, hey, China is not the only country that will fund and build your projects. Come to the US, come to the UK, come to France. We have these offers for you too. We'll give you loans and we'll also help you find a contractor to do these projects. We're open for business. Now, these are really early days, and the U.S. hasn't always followed through on its friendliness, even though it says it wants to be friendly, and they're going to have some challenges ahead uh, in rebuilding relationships with countries like France, for instance. So it remains to be seen whether these developing countries will actually take a serious look at the American offers. But this is going to be a really interesting competition between the U.S. and its allies and China to see who can win more influence, who can build more infrastructure projects in the developing world.